let's talk a little bit about all of this voting for socialism, because I always get a lot of emails and people call in and they're worried about it and you need to talk more about it and we need to make sure this doesn't happen, but we need to understand why there is a socialism vote. And I think there's, there's probably many reasons and perhaps I'm not the best person to answer it, but I'll give you my answer. I think a big reason for the socialism vote, the embrace of Bernie Sanders, and, and to a lesser extent the socialism light proposals of the other Democrats, is helicopter parenting, participation trophies, getting rid of honor rolls and merit-type recognition in our schools, um, the elevation of feelings over achievement and results and scores and not keeping scores. You know, if you think back to how we grew up riding our bikes all over town with our parents not knowing where we were and being fine with not knowing where we were as long as we made it home for dinner. And you look at kids today and how overprotected, overcoddled, overhoused, overtechnologied they are. I think that explains the socialist vote. Socialists are promising to extend your childhood. They're promising to extend your adolescence. You can still ask dad for 20 bucks. You can still get stuff without paying for it. That's, that's, the, that's the definition of childhood. And I'm sorry, but I, I think that's a big part of, of how it works and why it works. Because when I was the age of these people that are voting for Bernie Sanders, I was making money, and it was my money, and I didn't want the government to take it and redistribute it. But if you haven't yet had your first job, if you're still living with your parents, and if your whole model is they look out for me, they protect me, I drive their car, I'm on their insurance, what the hell? I mean, of course you're going you're gonna to want to extend that. And, and a guy that's promising to translate that into the actions of government is going to be very appealing. You're not going to think, well, wait a minute, where's the money coming from? Or what if it's my money they're redistributing? You're not going to think that. So there may be other reasons. And I'm not taking away from Bernie Sanders. He's, he's I mean, you got to hand it to him. He's consistent. He keeps hammering the same points. People admire or appreciate, I guess, that he's uh, always been a socialist. He doesn't deviate from it. But look, um, I think we've raised the socialist vote, to some degree. 210-599-5555. Mike is on KTSA. Hi, Mike. Hello. So my, my comment is this. I mean, the media has been so destructive and detrimental, and, and people my age, I'm almost 55, I mean, we can see past all the, the rhetoric and all the other hoopla that they throw out there, but to these 18, 17, 18, 19-year-old, very impressionable adults who are just getting involved in understanding politics they've destroyed these kids man and 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 you ask some of these kids and they're of the right mentality but they think that donald trump is the devil and they can't see past what the media sells them and what the democratic party has sold them and it's to me that that's the most destructive thing that they could have done for our nation well let's talk about why that is mike um now when i was a, a young man uh donald trump wrote his book about how he you know, made his fortune. And when I was that age, I wanted to read books by people like that, and I did. I, I thought, you know, you should, you should learn from people that have been successful. Um, I wasn't interested in what political party they were in. I just wanted to emulate their success. Today, we have a, a, a different outlook. We think that if you've made a lot of money, you must have stolen it. It must be evil. You must have done something wrong or had... You know, Elizabeth Warren says, you didn't build that. It was all rigged for you. So that, that's a, a big uh, minus for young people right at the outset. They're not studying up on success, right? They're not saying, let me copy that, let me emulate that. They're being told to run away from it. Right. And, and, and the other thing is, I started working full-time when I was 14, and I paid my way through private school because my parents couldn't afford it. And I paid for my high school education. And I, I took that as that's what's expected of you. But in today's day and age, I think the media should have more of a social responsibility in trying to bring these kids up and, and telling them, hey, there's nothing wrong with being successful in life. 
being getting rich while you do it because that's the American dream. But you know what, that's Mike? You know what, Mike? American Before we even talk about the media and their culpability, it's it's also parents and it's first parents. Absolutely. Your, your first Absolutely. media, your first news media in life is your parents. Your parents. And, and I, I think helicopter parenting, I think participation trophies, I think soccer leagues where they don't keep score and everybody gets to kick the ball in the net, I think high schools with no honor roll or, or merit system, I think putting feelings ahead of achievements. We've done this to this generation. Little wonder. Absolutely. Little wonder they want to extend their adolescence into adulthood, and Bernie Sanders is giving them that chance. He's saying, we'll, we'll take care of all the stuff your parents took care of. Absolutely. Even even Elizabeth Warren was, we're going to pay for your college. Yes. So what incentive does a kid have to work hard? Right. If you give them that, there, there's no incentive. No, you'd, kids, you'd be to, they, to work three jobs work. while you're in college like I did and maybe you did. You'd be crazy to do that in the world of Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren. And they're telling you and, you'd and, be crazy. They're telling you you can't do it. It would never work. I've got two daughters that are in college now. One is in her master's program and the other's uh, finished her master's program. And, and the thing is, they worked all through college, and, and they, are, they are livid about the fact that somebody right. says, we'll pay for your college. And, and I'm of the same opinion. But I, see, I, in, back in our youth, more of us felt that way. And today, your daughters are outliers. They're not, that's not what the mainstream thought is in that age group. And that's the result of the parenting and the result of the, of the, the way we, just the way we've, we've extended adolescence. You know, it's, it's not over at, at 16 or 17 anymore. It, it goes well, till you're 30. Mike, I got to hold you. Well, Great call, though. Great points.